hello, hello, my name is Nick, aka Grizzly Mantis, and ooh, we're bringing the sauce this week. We have ourselves a nice little cynic Eldrazi list. This looks almost, almost modern, almost. It's very similar to a list we played really early on in Pioneer, except we get to smash some reality as well. So let's go over it really quick so we can get everybody in. We got a Simic, of course, being blue-green. We have our signature reality smasher, a 5-5 five, five for 5 with Trample and Haste. Now, if you're not aware of this, that's the colorless mana symbol. So that means it literally has to be paid with colorless mana. So as you can see, we've got... A, a nice little supply of uh, colorless mana sources to fuel it, but yeah, I should probably just point it out just in case you were not aware. So, 5-5, five, five, trample, haste for 5. Whenever it becomes the target of a spell an opponent controls, counter that spell unless its controller discards a card. Pretty nice little beater. I mean, 5-5, five, five, trample, haste is pretty solid, but adding in card advantage when they try to remove it, it's just gravy. Now, note that that's only with a spell. Abilities still get rid of them all the same, but... And the second of which in our Eldrazi collection, Thought Not Sia, 4 4 for 4, since it seems to be XX for X is the common theme here. Enters the battlefield, you get to exile a non land card from opponent's hand, leaves the battlefield, they get to draw a card. Oh, he just a big Eldrazi Tide Hollow Sculler, but surprisingly good. Now, supplementing our Eldrazi, we have the old Love Struck Beast, nice little 5 5 for 3, also makes a 1 1 white creature human token. The Heart of Kiran. Oh, I love this card. I hope it sees more play because this card is just money. So you get two mana artifact. Can turn into a 4-4 four, four Flying Vigilance as a crew of three. Or you can remove loyalty counters from Planeswalker. Speaking of which, Vivian Arcbow Ranger. Four for four loyalty. Puts plus one, plus one counters on your creatures and gives them trample. Not bad. Minus three. It allows your creature to rabbit bite your opponent's creature or planeswalker. Deal damage equal to its power, so it's not a fight. It just deals the damage. And <laughs> the minus five, this is so cool, is a wish for a creature from your sideboard or from outside the game, quote unquote. However, it's your sideboard. We'll get to that in a second, our wish board. We have Brazen Borrower, just, uh, just a very efficient creature slash spell. Uh, uh, extra utility and reach. Just a great card. Peril of Scavenging Ooze to try to fight that Graveyard Menace in addition to gaining life. And going after Euro. Let's be honest. Get that Euro. Um, 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 gobble him up. We have a full set of eight Elvish Mystic Line or else for our 1-1s one for 1, our drops. White Border. Then, of course, <laughs> oh, Stubborn Denial. For most of this deck, it's one blue counter-target non-creature spell. But otherwise, it's a four spike for non-creature spells. But, I mean... Power 4 or greater. Yeah, there's a lot of that floating around. <laughs> That's the main deck. Like I said, we got our full set of uh, potentially useful deserts, if only to uh, fulfill the colorless need, in addition to have maybe some other random utility. Hash Up Oasis can win games randomly. I mean, they both can, but, you know, that one can too. Let's take a look at the board, since the main deck's pretty straightforward. We got our Anti-Control Suite, Mystical Dispute, and I keep saying it, best counter spell in the format. Disdainful Stroke, definitely the second best. Uh, very good against inverter or things where you just need a two mana answer to something big or even just something decent size it doesn't matter as far as our wish board goes we have well we technically have five options but the the what i call the wish board now we got a third scavenging ooze whisperwood elemental oh i hated playing against this in standard you got a four four for five at the beginning of your end step you manifest the top card of your library it's kind of like morph you put it onto the battlefield face down. It's a 2-2 colorless creature. You can turn it face up for paying its mana cost if it's a creature spell. So it, it's like turns the top card of your library into a morph creature. And then, of course, Reclamation Sage for dealing with problematic artifacts or enchantments. Uh, <laughs> I love this. So those who have seen my videos know that I have an unhealthy bias against spirits i just it, it not a bias against that's the wrong way to put it they, for some reason playing against spirits always rubs me the wrong way it's like i have a vendetta against them <laughs> what's better way to go after spirits than a full place of cruel harpooners in the board i mean you're gonna you can bring this in against other things you can bring in this control just as three power for two mana but still <laughs> i hope we play spirits and i'll probably still lose to it because of this attitude but you know what 
It's weird because I love spirits as a deck. I am an aggro control player from the heart. So you'd think I wouldn't have such animosity towards one of my favorite decks in the format or my favorite play styles, but for some reason it's just the bane of my existence. And then of course Tireless Tracker, one of the best three drops ever printed. Uh, whenever you play land, you get to investigate, make a clue, you sack a clue, he gets bigger. So it turns all your land drops into cantrips and just grows in the process. That's the deck. Let's go get it on. I want to get some Simic Eldrazi action on. Oh, we won the die roll. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Fair enough. All right. Well, we got the old Botanical Sanctum into one lander on the play. So we're going to do turn one, Line of War Elves. Turn two, Line of War Elves. Love Struck Beast. And we have Stubborn Denial up. Yeah, it's not the worst. I guess it'd be Elves. Turn one, Elves. Turn two, Elves. Okay, we go Elvish Mystic. Oh boy. Well, this might have been the wrong hand to keep <laughs> against a mountain. Yeah. We'll see, though. Come on, Mr. Mountain. What do you got? Ooh, Soul Scar Mage. That's a good one. Hmm. This will probably prompt. This will probably prompt a removal spell on an elf to prevent this love struck beast from hitting the board. But we rip any land. Crash through. Okay. Ah, very good. So this deck, eh? Wonder if it's got the phoenixes. Oh, wow. Right when I was about to give up, we got there. And we won the die roll. Woo, boy. All right, let's do this. All right, let's mulligan. This is much more keepable. How greedy do I want to be here? Yeah, this is definitely a keep. What do we put on the bottom? I do not wish to be too terribly greedy. It's between the Thought Knots here and the Heart of Kiran. We're going to keep. I suppose I could put the Stubborn Denial on the bottom, but then I'm just running on blanks. Stubborn Denial will probably always do something. Hmm. Could be super greedy and put a land on the bottom. I just don't think that's a good idea. I guess thought not here. Because that way we at least have a curve with this hand. We have one drop into two drop into three drop into attack for five. And then hold up stubborn now for the rest of the time. He molded into six as well. So, eh, let's see what happens. 16 minutes in. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'll just go. We have my coast. Heart's Desire. I was like, wait, what? But we're good. Ooh, Swamp. No thought sees. Interesting. Let's get in for one. Don't disfigure me, bro. Okay. Raisin Barrow also turns on Heart of Kiran pretty well. And uh, oh, would appear we have ourselves. You gotta play the land. You gotta click on the land. Then you play the land. Give me a green. Yeah. Hmm. Why are you looking at me? I don't know. All right. Some crew. And then if we untap, we know what we're doing the rest of this game. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, Brazen Borrower is not too amazing against. This is probably Demir Inverter. It's my guess. But we're about to find out, aren't we? What do you hit? The Yamamaya Coast? Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll get an island. The hand, the way it is. It's like, okay. I'll turn off all the yields. Mm. Uh, yep, that one's on me. That one is on me. What costs three mana? Ashyank? Disinformation campaign. Oh. 
believe that auto yield got me. I love this. I don't know what's going on, but I love it. Disinformation campaign. Sauce. All right, I'm gonna say yes. Should have thought not seer just so I could see what was going on. But this way I can flash in a brazen borrower and hold up stubborn denial. It's not inverter, or if it is, it's some kind of new inverter that is extra saucy. Yeah, that love struck beast should still be alive. Opponent should be at 11. No, oh, yeah, 11. But we are a silly billy billy billy. Auto yielding. That's exactly why I stopped F6 because of that habit, but thought my opponent was done for the turn. I thought wrong. And I just did not hit it in time. What's the high key for turning off auto yield? Uh, thought erasure. Sure. Right click, pass into response, stop passing. I don't think there is one. Just gonna flash in this brazen borrower and continue the beats. Thought erasure. Brazen borrower has been discarded. Oh, and he surveils away nothing. Okay. Total punt. Should be. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I got to worry about here is ritual soot. I wonder if that's a thing. Could really use something good. <laughs> Well, I had a love struck beast. That's on me. Total punt. Total punt. I'm going to play the second line of War Elves and we'll pass the turn. Oh, punt master of the fells over here. Yep, that's all I got. Power for a greater. Cool thing is, if I were to top tech a Vivian, top tech anything, I'll be in good shape, but a Vivian especially, then I could. <laughs> uh yeah sure can't do anything about that cool <laughs> oh there's a there's a lesson in all of this don't throw away the game that's the lesson so learn the lessons Hard casting the murder strider. Sure. Hmm. I gotta keep open a blue. So it doesn't make sense to do that. I can't make anyone big enough to. Can't make them big enough for the ferocious, so I'll just go one and one. And then next turn we can. Yep. Mm, yeah, won't be attacking though. If he attacks with the murderous rider, do I double block? That is the question. Probably not. If he attacks Vivian, I just say okie dokie. Here he goes, tapping that manas. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, a demonic pact. I like whatever sauce he is cooking with. Uh, I mean, we could just go get a... Uh... Ugh, more lands. We could just go get a... Reclamation Sage. Uh, I hate to do it. I might have to do it, though. This thing is nutty once it gets out of control, especially since all he's going to make me do is discard two cards. <sighs> Alternatively, we could pump the line of war elves up and attack, but he's holding fatal. Well, he's not. All right. It stinks. That's what we got to do. Oh, I could just let him keep it, but is anything I get worth getting? Nope. All right, well, it takes care of that. We play that, and yeah, we pass. Ugh. 
stinks, but we kind of had to do it. Because that card is nutty. Yeah, might as well make him pay for it. And we're gonna discard it anyways. Yep. Hmm. This information campaign, demonic pact, huh? I like it. We need something off the top. I guess that does count as something. Let's cast the beast. Kill the beast. <sighs> no, nope, nothing to attack with. Mm, Reality Smasher, Thought Not Seer, anything would be amazing. Plus three, plus three, but nothing has trample. Four cards in hand. Field of Ruin, sure thing. Hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. <sighs> So now he has, ugh, this is so bad. No reason to keep it, just play the land. Three cards in hand. Yep. Like Andy always said, this is it. Okay, crack. Yeah, it's fine. Just say okay. Start getting in with some creatures here. It may just cost us both of our creatures, but that's okay. I'm gonna start doing something here, and if he has like, yeah, if he has like removal, fatal push, whatever. Okay, four mana. What cost four mana? We just gotta start getting cards out of his hand. Torrential Gear Hulk. Oh cripes. I'm not gonna scoop to it, but it's not looking good now. All right, what are we bringing in? Stainful Stroke, Mystical Dispute, Tireless Tracker, Whisperwood, maybe. Yep, you don't say. Actually, yeah, if he doesn't win from here, then he's worse than I am with Stubborn Denial. <laughs> so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. All right, that was on me. But the, hand, the deck was not really cooperating either. Okay. I definitely want the trackers. What do we not want to get this junk? Scooze is probably not at its best, even with Torrential Gear Hulk floating around. Brazen Borrower is okay. Vivian isn't bad either. I'm trying to minimize the fatal push damage. Vivian's better as any of these cards. Maybe not. We can probably afford to go down a couple of our mana dorks. And then I'm thinking one Brazen Bar, actually one Vivian. Just kind of go for a more mid range smasher build. A little less on that. Yeah, let's try this. Ugh. Game one punted. I mean, who knows how it would have turned out, but having a Love Struck Beast on the battlefield for that much longer? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what he is. Hmm. Yeah, we couldn't. Have, I mean, we couldn't have let him have the card advantage of the um, card advantage of the demonic pact, but uh, let's see what he's got. And all our counter spells and stuff and try to have a more explosive draw all right i would love to <laughs> okay well all right Ugh, wow let's so get rid of the disdainful stroke since i have two counter spells Oof, this is ugly. I will keep, and yeah, the sample stroke is off the team. Post, pass. If he thought seizes me, I can deny it. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Yay, I have a swamp. Fantastic. Now, this is off to a great start. 
Nee. Yep. There's a world where I guess I would want to keep up Mystical Dispute for three mana, but I don't know what it is. If he has Disinformation Campaign or anything like that, then either of these cards takes care of it for better. So we'll see what he's got. The only thing I can think of is like Thoughtseize or something like that. Now he's got all these. Gah. Okay, well, that's something, I suppose. Hmm. All right, well, I'll play the uh, Rivulet. How do I do this? Play both, play the Beast and the Heart's Desire, or just play the Heart's Desire and project like crazy. I vote the first one. Cool. Let's project like crazy. It's not even a good thought sees. I'm just gonna attempt to counter it, because why not? And then either A will have Love Struck Beast plus Stubborn Denial, or B will have Thought Not Seer. Yeah, sure, dude. So now we have Love Struck Beast, assuming he takes Thought Not Seer. We have Love Struck Beast, Stubborn Denial. Otherwise, we have Stubborn Denial. There you go. What's he do with the top card? Leaves it on top. Hooray. Hey, look at that. Let's play the land. There's the beast. So, Stubborn Denial online. But, oh, let me guess. Fatal Push the Human? Sure. Still Stubborn Denial online. I guess I could have stubborn denial that, but like, what's the point? It's a fatal push on a 1-1. Nope. Can't attack. Stinks. How much as much as drawing lands? That's fantastic. Hmm. Come on, deck. Where are we at today? Where are we at? All these good cards that could be drawn, and you're like, you're at more lands. Okay. I guess I'll grab a forest. Cool. I mean, he knows I have it, so might as well use it. Beast isn't doing anything, but still there something off the top any of my elves anything and he's back online till that point Ugh. oh lordy i feel like we should not do this bad against this deck but then again cannot do much with draws like this six cards in his hand yuck oh look at this oh yeah what do you got now <laughs> oh, here comes the beast like, I gotcha. No. <laughs> Gotta waste all my counter spells on this stuff. Uh, they'd be like, oh, in response. But now, drown in the lock. No. <laughs> and now I'm officially out of stuff to do. Anything else? No. Then take. Five, would you? Now I'm out of stuff to do. Feel you should win this game, opponent, but maybe not. Discovery. Two cards on top. He likes what he sees. He's. Ooh, Castle Lock Flame. Get in there.
Field of Ruin. So I assume. Come on, Reality Smasher. <sighs> agony. Pure agony is what I feel right now. <laughs> wow. All these good cards, and this is what the deck wants to give us. Oh, boy. <sighs> Torrential Gear Hulk. I just wrap it up. Is it nine? Ugh. Yeah, let's wrap it up. Game. Oh, I would love to. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we'll keep. Who's going at the bottom? Guess of all the things, Rivulet is the least useful. Because assuming the elf lives, then. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. I kind of wish we had a three drop. Ooh, foreboding runes, revealing blood crypt. Yeah, sure, dude. Take your take your pick of four drops. Five, Vivian. Hmm, what would be the best draw here? Probably Heart of Kiran. Hard for hard to exist in a world with Fatal Push. So Fatal Push is around. Heart of Quran is not amazing. Don't croak at me, bro. Want to see some Eldrazi in action? What? Let's see what he's got. Got it. Whoa. What do we have here? Holy cow. That's a hand. This is going to be a long one, folks. Oh, jeez. Kogan's command kills the heart of Kiran. Merge everything here. Kills everything. We get in for four. He's gonna then kill the Thought Knot Seer. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Well, these all suck, but I guess Liliana is the only. It's probably the scariest thing. Ugh. I guess the Kolgan's command. Ugh. Man, this is tough. I guess the Kolgan's command. I mean, I'm going to be able to hit him for four. He'll be at 11. He'll then play a lamb, be down to nine. Murderous Rider, the Thought Not Seer, I imagine. Which then takes him mm, down to seven. I run Reality Smasher away from taking him out. So how good is the Liliana going to be? I guess the Culligan's Command is what I will take here. Jeez. Yuck. It's gonna be an interesting one. The thought not, or excuse me, the reality smasher gives me hope. Slay a knee lot is hope. Blood crypt. He drew a mountain. Fabulous. Well, there goes that too, life. Don't say. Now, well, what do we need to chase? What can we draw here? I guess love struck beast wouldn't be bad. Praise and borrower. Um, I could just play it just to attack, but then he gets to play Liliana the Last Hope and just kill it on the spot. But that does set up... That does set up... Yeah, actually. it's. It, I mean, that stinks, but it does set up a lethal Reality Smasher if we ever draw lands, which, of course, is, is amazing because it seemed to be all we could draw in the last match, and now we got nothing. Nothing. All right, well, let's knock him down to five and start hoping. All right. Love Stroke Beast or... He just keeps drawing lands. Yep, he don't say. So he plays the Liliana. Okay, well, we need something here. Love Stroke Beast wouldn't be terrible. Final worlds. 
against Liliana. Okay, well, this is going swimmingly. 24 lands. Reality Smasher, still dead to Reality Smasher if we can ever get to that point, but he's probably just gonna hardcast a Murderous Rider, I imagine. Yuck. He hardcast the Murderous Rider. We don't need both of those. We don't need both of those either, actually. Hardcast the Murderous Rider, what do we do? Top deck two lands in a row. Magically get them both on the battlefield. That would be what we would do here. Aside from that, <laughs> um, I'm going to probably go ahead and say this one is uh, is at five. I guess theoretically we could do something. Let's discard the line of elves. I won't scoop. I won't scoop. Is this the deck I played last week? It might be, actually. Yeah, it might be. Pretty good deck. Pretty, pretty good. He's at five. Two lands and this reality smasher just ends his existence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or we could just draw a line of world. That's that's totally the same. Just keep clinging on to that hope. He's at five, and I'm staring at a reality smasher. Fabled Passage. Still no reason to play the Blood Crypt. The Blood Crypt I may or may not have been banking on when doing my combat math, but that's okay. Wish we could all draw lands. Yep, there it is. Oh, the window is closing. This is our turn to draw something that is not an elf. All right, I think it is safe. Well, let's see. We play. Let's say we happen to draw land, play Vivian, do nothing. Well, I guess I could equip the heart, put counters on it, and attack for lethal. Oh, there is hope. It wouldn't be lethal. Again, I would only be able to attack him down to one. But it is hope. All right, we got a couple turns before we get overrun by zombies, so we might as well do something. Don't want to scoop. Not gonna scoop. There's that blood crypt. Woo! He still has a murderous rider. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ow. Yep. Anything else? Well, that's not nothing. Doesn't doesn't die to Liana, eats the Kroxa, which then allows it to, yeah, I'm gonna say always yield, which then allows it, okay, you know what, let's just do this. Wait, it doesn't bug us anymore. Now, do I wanna give him the ability to swift end the murderous rider? I don't think it matters. He's gonna be able to, or not the, uh, excuse me, swift end the heart of Kuran. I don't think it's gonna matter because he's gonna get it either way. So let's make him pay the two life, right? Yep, here's murderous rider. Yep, well, we do still have the scoos for the moment. Yep, yep. All right, well, we're officially out of cards in hand. To know. Okay. A yummy graveyard. A yummy, yummy graveyard. Let's go for the emblem. I have no idea. Oh, pfft. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We get it, opponent. We get it. We get it. We get it. Okay, so against this deck, don't really want these. The Whisperwood Elemental, not too in love with. Actually, I'd rather get rid of Brazen Borrower than Stubborn Denial. Bring the other Scoos. Take out a pair of Stubborn Denial. I like Brazen Borrower, but at the same time, I like these other cards better. All right, let's try this again. Ugh, yuck. Which is not our night tonight, apparently. I wish there was some way... I mean, we have Tireless Tracker now, but I do wish there was some way to draw cards in this deck. Alright. I would love to... Ugh, yuck. I'm gonna keep it. It does stuff. That is more 
that is important, I suppose. Certainly not the best stuff in the world. Oh, we'll go breeding pool. Oh, I just, well, let's see if we hit any lands this time around. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, we did not, so. Hmm. No way to shock them. <laughs> Look at this hand. <laughs> okay. I played the heart of Kiran since he's very much projecting a fatal push. But we'll see what he's got. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> sure. Have your pick. My hand is just hot garbage. Uh, get rid of the scoos, huh? Not a bad plan. All right. Now we do a third land in the form of a line of elf, but unfortunately, against this deck, that's not what I want to be. Not what I want to be drawing. We need real lands, please. Gifted Etherborn. That's fine with me. Um. This love stroke beast on the battlefield, I suppose. Between that and playing another mystic to try to set up. Oh, I don't have colorless mana for any of this junk. <laughs> How sad is that? All right. Well, luckily, unlike Vampire Nighthawk, that bad boy don't fly. Ridiculous. Kill the beast. So he attacks me with Gifted Aetherborn, then we attack him back with Lovestruck Beast. He attacks me with, ooh, Magma Spray. Reasonable. Might as well, unless you want to keep the beast back. Oh, interesting. Raising Borrower, the Gifted Aetherborn. I have Raising Borrower, the Gifted Aetherborn, then he can just Fatal Push the Lovestruck Beast. Then again, if he has Fatal Push, he's got the creatures either way. So we'll just go with the Heart of Kiran, let him kill that, then I'll play the Elvish Mystic. Yep. You don't say. Okay. I knew that, that's okay, I don't want to attack that. Yeah, so... Bouncing the Gifted Youthborn would have gotten the Love Struck Beast killed no matter what. What do you got now? Legion's End. This is getting old. All right, we'll be able to get in for six with this Brazen Borrowing, this Gifted Youthborn. Cost him a turn since he's missing land drops. Well, that's, that's an improvement. Let's Petty Theft this fool. Get him. All right. All right. We at least have something here. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's fair, I suppose. Now we can't tag. All right. Line of Werewolf off the top? I don't know. <laughs> oh, fantabulous. Well, Brazen Borrower, baby. I'm counting on you here. You got to take us home. <laughs> Sure. Guess I'll go with the more expensive of the two. Anything else, opponent? Thought sees. Go nuts for donuts, my man. All right, Lana Wolf off the top just to end this, or Heart Love Stroke Beast, or an Elvish Mystic. Just let us end it. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> it puts him down to three, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, um, I don't think I want to change anything. I just need to draw land. That's all this comes down to. Brazen Borrower. I mean, Brazen Borrower isn't terrible, but in a world of Liliana, it's like, hmm. Um, is Brazen Borrower better than Heart of Kiran, I wonder? Hmm. 
They both get whacked by... Yeah, mm, mm. Flash isn't like the worst thing ever. Not to mention getting around Fatal Push. All right, all right, we'll take it. Um, sure, let's see what he does. He will keep, I too will keep. It's not the best, it's not the worst, it just is. Blood Crypt, sure, go nuts for donuts. All right, just gonna play this breeding pool. Yep. And we have a curve. Turn two scoos, turn three borrower, turn four thought not seer and hope it's good enough. Ah, that's how he wins. Okay. Okay, we got everybody there. Do I want to play the Scoos or do I hold up Brazen Borrower? I could play the Scoos. Hmm. That just walks into a fatal push. Yeah, we'll wait. I'll hold up the Borrower. No, because if he has it, let's make him use it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it. Super Shocker. They always got it. Shrieking Affliction. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so now we've got... Yep. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, we'll just go Botanical Sanctum. Pass the time. He croaks at us. What are we going to get rid of? The Rivulet, perhaps? Like to cost him a turn and some tempo here to allow me to get the thought not seer onto the board. But we'll see what he's got. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Show me what you got. You don't need that anymore. Oh yuck. It's gonna be one of these games. Well, Dreadboar's annoying. Gifted Aetherborn's annoying. This whole hand is annoying. But what's the most annoying? 2-3 with Death Touch and Lifelink? Ugh. Or just removal spells? We'll take the Gifted Aetherborn. Yuck. Alright, Brazen Borrower, we're leaning on you, buddy. Need that sweet evasion. Hmm. So trade either way. Do I want to let him keep a dread bore and draw another card? He's gonna dread bore it either way. If I get the gifted etherborn off the battlefield. Yeah, I do want to. It's silly, I know. <sighs> so good at this game. Okay. Well. That would have been silly. The Vivian makes this interesting. Should I go with the Brazen Borrower, I suppose. Well, yeah. Flash in the Brazen Borrower, end of turn, try to load him up. Oh boy. This is annoying, I would say. Gonna block. Yep. Ugh. 
Joseph. It's the anti-creature deck. <laughs> uh, this deck is just designed to annoy the crap out of me, isn't it? It really is. Mm. Oh, any meaty miny mo gets to take a back. So if he has one, go. So I play the Vivian. I buff up the human. I attack. The love struck beast loses the ability to do anything. He dreadboards the human. I'm left with a Vivian that doesn't do anything. Play the Vivian, beef up the human. I just dreadboards the Vivian. Yep. Ugh. So we're just gonna get the smasher in and smash his face. Oh hooray! Shrieking affliction. This may not do anything, but it'll feel good. And the removal spells on it. Get him. Smash that reality. Smash it. Shrieking affliction. <sighs> what are you going to do next? Davriel me? Don't Davriel me, bro. Maybe I could just play reality smashers from here until the end of the game and just win that way. Stranger things have happened, I suppose. Mm hmm. Fabled Passage. Three cards in hand, and there they are. <laughs> Maybe that is what we have to do. Keep smashing him with reality smashers. And if he tries to use removal spells, we got Triggs. He'll get rid of one with the Gifted Aetherborn, but that'll get rid of the Gifted Aetherborn. Yep. Yep. That world. All right, we're down to one dread boar. That's his hand, a e dread boar. Mm hmm. Fantastic. We're down to nine. Hmm. <laughs> All the reality smashers. Yep. Seems reasonable. So if he wants this guy dead. <sighs> discard whatever he drew. Then we go love struck beast, line of worlds, and hope we can kill him. He'll be in top deck mode, because he'll have to discard whatever he drew to Dreadboar. Oh, give me a Hash App Oasis off the top of my library, and that'd be sweet. Okay, fetching with Fabled Passage. Okay, two cards left, one of which is a Dreadboar. Yep, you don't say. What do you gotta do? Forget to discard a <laughs> card. <laughs> oh, and I think we're dead. Unless there's another reality smasher off the top. A love struck beast. Ah, oh, that's aggravating. Can't play double beast. It's gonna make me discard a card. This is one or fewer. I think we are dead no matter what. This will hit me for. Well, no, it won't. But I can't play both Love Struck Beasts. Hmm. Man, man, oh man, what can we do here? We obviously play this Love Struck Beast. 
Opponent's million card removal, gifted Aetherborn, got the job done. There's literally one thing that could have saved us, and I imagine that's Scavenging Ooze. Now he gets Croaksa back, and we are in trouble. We'll go down to three. If we top deck a Scavenging Ooze, we at least get to survive. Kind of. Ugh. Ugh. How sad. Guess I can dismiss the at. Yep. Reality Smasher number four. <laughs> reality Smasher, we got this. Reality Smasher off the top. That's not a Reality Smasher. Oh, yuck. Yep. That's the way the cookie crumbles. What about that? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's funny, we either get hands that do everything or hands that do nothing. There's like no in between. So either we have all the business or we have no business. I mean, should I mulligan this hand? Maybe. It's six mana sources and a scavenging ooze, but geez. I should be more aggressive with my mulligans. Let's see. Opponent did mull the six. That's not the worst. Boreal Grazer. Okay. Lumbering Falls. You got it. Oh, uh, I guess we'll just go. Get on Scooze and pass the turn. No, I'm not going to be attacking. Okay, Island. What's he got? So next turn is just going to be Vivian. Beef up the Scooze and that's it. Same plan. Oh, deep. Let's see what? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's just beef up the scoos. <laughs> Get in with my four four. <sighs> All right. Elvish visionary. All right, now I have no idea what's going on. Ten protector. Interesting. This is very interesting. That was scary. Is Whisper Lord Elemental any good here? It kind of is. Hmm. Would be interesting. Go get Whisper Lord Elemental and just start manifesting every turn. Go for the army and the can route. Have another Vivian next turn to beef everybody else up. Start with an attack here. Probably just good chump block, yeah. Chump blocking. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Wow. That would have sucked. <laughs> I almost clicked on Cruel Harpooner when it shifted. Okay. Let's do it. I like Whisperwood Elemental. I hated playing against it, but I do like it. The forest. That's better than drawing a forest. 
That forest is now a 2-2 creature. Scoos can get bigger. Let's see what the opponent's got. Hmm. It's got a lumbering falls. Can't forget about that. Well, hello there. Go smash some reality. All right, that's enough. I think opponent just fizzled out a bit. Um, I wonder if I should just bring in the mystical dispute, even though I don't know. I mean, what did he have the blue for? Maybe the stubborn denials are enough until I have more information. Actually, I kind of feel obligated to bring in disdainful stroke, but the elvish visionary makes me wonder. Yeah, let's just run it back. We'll run it back. We'll see what he does. Obviously had a bit of a slow game, but he had Grazer, Den Protector. It's like a Megamorph deck, maybe? I don't know. Death Miss Raptor, maybe? Hmm. I guess we'll find out here in a moment. Ew. Yeah, definitely throwing this one back. Yuck. Did he mulligan or did he keep? He kept. Let's mulligan. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to go. Brazen Borrower. That's a Brazen Borrower. Sanctum into Mystic. Lumbering Falls, sure. <laughs> okay, well, represent Brazen Borrower turn two. We can either bounce something or flash them in. See what we draw off the top. Elvish Visionary, well, there goes attacking, and now we're definitely not going to be petty collecting anything. Not this turn, at least. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Test us up for the reality smasher, so let's do that. Now we can next turn just start smashing everything in sight, so we'll pass. If he does anything, we'll petty theft. I doubt he will, but you never know. Hmm. Elvish Visionary. Simic something. Den Protector. Boreal Grazer. Grow Spiral, sure. That's an incident. Castle Vandress, interesting. I wonder what he's up to. Hmm. Well, let's see what he can do about these. We could take a glimpse and see what he's up to. I kind of don't mind that. Yeah, let's do it. It's thought not us here. here. He has like a disdainful stroke or something. I'd rather he used it on this. At least this way we'll get something out of his hand. Holy crap. That's a crush of tentacles. Oh my god. I don't know what you're up to, opponent, but I love it. <gasps> this is that. Oh my god. I was building a pan version of this. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, well, I gotta take the. Oh, oh man, I don't know what to do now. Oh, I don't even. Oh. Oh man, this is so much. I wanna take the Euro, but then, yeah, hey, he has Crush of Tentacles still. Oh man. Alright, let's take the Crush. First game so far, not so great. There's the Euro, I'm gonna yield for this turn. That's out. Quicken Crush of Tentacles. Oh, that's the coolest thing ever. 
All right, so now if uh, if he does his thing, and he probably will, then we are definitely just going to go uh, bring in all those counter spells. Every single one. Well, he missed a land drop. That's a relief. Let's smash some reality, shall we? I feel like I don't have enough ramp, he says. Well. Let's see. Hmm. All right, he's got five mana. Now the fireworks are starting. I feel good about this, but he plays Crusher Tentacles and Oh no, I don't have a fifth land. <laughs> oh no, I do. Sorry, Mr. Crush Tentacles, dude. I love your deck, but I gotta smash you here. So don't let this pile deter you. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, ugh, one and two, and I'm not counting the scoop match. One and two with this thing, and you know, it always seems to be. I look at these decks, and I'm like, man, this looks awesome. Celerance, this, that, that, and yet, in performance, no matter how many games I play, I always just feel like it just is missing something to make it all smooth out. It's missing that whatever to make it consistent. This has some good toys to play with, and it's a fun deck once it gets going, but something goes wrong it can just fall apart so quickly so this was not bad if it's your jam give it a shot uh it might work better for you maybe maybe the old uh simic heart of Kiran, stubborn denial decks just do not like me these days that's okay they have it so that is all for this one i'll see everybody later <laughs> Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the games. You want to show me some support? Go ahead and like, subscribe, follow me below. On Tuesday and Thursday nights, I go live. I'd love to have you stop by. Also, the Discord below. You want to hop in there? Give me your two cents on this list. You want my two cents on your list? I'm always open to talk about this stuff because I love this stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. I hope I see you when I'm going live. Otherwise, I'll just see you later.